Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new action button on the new iPhone 15 Pros, which is of course a great feature, but I will show you guys how to make it even better and also how to actually even use this on older iPhones without an action button. So of course with the action button, you have set there an action from the settings app, you tap it and of course you perform that action. But let me show you guys what I can do with the action button on my iPhone right here. So you can see the orientation lock, press and hold, it locks the orientation right there. But let's say I wanna play a game, I just turn the iPhone on the landscape mode from the left side, and I can just go ahead and start playing my game. Or I wanna shoot a video, turn the iPhone on the landscape mode on the other side, and just like that, I can go ahead and record a video directly from here. How cool is that? We'll show you guys how to actually achieve this on your iPhone and every other iPhone if you don't have one with the action button. Now what you just saw right there is all made possible by ActionMate. ActionMate is a new app that combines shortcuts and the action button to achieve these amazing results. This is the app right here. So you will have a few different things. You can do a few like different modes. So you will have face up, face down, whether your iPhone is face up or face down, it can perform different actions with the action button, of course, without you having to change anything. Then you will have the volume buttons. Let's say you press the action button and then immediately the volume up button. In this case, it will recognize music. Now, all of these are shortcuts that are preset right here. They have their own action, but we can customize them to any action we want. And then we have device orientation, the one that we just saw right there. And you will have device gesture as well not every one of them will have all the examples here everything will actually be clarified here and show you how it works now you can see all of these features half of them are actually free to use so the one i just showed you guys with the device orientation and the other one with face up and face down are free the other two right here with the gestures and also with the volume buttons are on the pro version but if you want to get that you will have to pay $2.99 so if you want to unlock those features now let me show you guys how to set this up on your device so if we just want to use this one right here device orientation the one i just showed you guys at the beginning of the video we have to just tap on add shortcut right here and add it to your shortcuts app now, as you saw right there, I had different actions set up for my shortcut, but right here by default, you will have press on portrait mode. It will record a voice memo on the left side of the landscape. It will take a picture on the right side, a video. That's what's preset right here. But of course, we don't have to use that. If we don't want to, we can change it to anything we want. The way to do that, pretty easy. Tap on the three dots right there on the shortcut. And then you can see right here, it says device orientation is portrait, record audio. So all we have to do is just tap the X buttons right there to remove that action. And then search here for any other action you want. Let's just search for orientation lock. And then we have orientation lock, we tap on it, it will place it at the bottom right here. So just tap and hold it and then drag it all the way up here. So you can see where it says device orientation portrait, just put it underneath it and now you're good to go. So here's the best way to understand this, what this shortcut does, you can see right there. Device orientation portrait, toggle orientation lock. Then it says otherwise device orientation is landscape left, take a photo. Of course, if we don't want to use that, we can just tap it right there and remove it and add another action. Let's just open the app. So there we have open app. We tap on it. It places it again at the bottom. Tap on app right there and choose which app you want to use and then tap and hold. And again, just place it right there where the take a picture was. So orientation landscape left right there. We have the shortcut now customized to our own needs. What we need to do now, tap the dump button and we're good to go. The next step is of course to set it up on the settings app. So head on to your settings, go under action button right here and choose shortcut. On shortcut, tap right there and just select action mate, in this case 04, the one we just had right there. And you can see now it will actually perform those actions. Now on the first time you do this, it will show you a few pop-ups. You only just press allow right there and you're good to go. Next time it won't be shown right there at all. That's how easy it is to actually use this on your device. But if you don't have a device with an action button, what can you do to utilize these features? Well, go to your settings and here's 
accessibility go right there go to touch and you can use back tap for this feature instead of the action button so just scroll all the way down you will have your shortcuts just select that shortcut and you can see it will actually work just like the action button i can double tap right there to change the orientation lock if i place it on the landscape mode again i can double tap there and of course just remove this pop-up and it will record a video or i can just place it on the landscape in the left and now of course i can just go ahead and open the app that i have set to this shortcut so this is how easy it is to actually have a few more actions on your action button and actually make it much much useful than it actually is so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe for more the link to the app will be right down below in the description of the video that's it and i'll see you on the next one